yo what's up what's up boys so today i'm just gonna be doing a tier list you know an advanced tier list at that so what i mean by advanced tier list is there's only gonna be 1600 plus gym characters in the tier list so if you guys are coming here to look for a full tier list i'm probably gonna make a separate video on that on like a beginner's tier list but for now we're doing the advanced tier list but um yeah let's just get straight into the tier list make sure you like comment subscribe it's totally free it does not cost money to subscribe to the channel Join the group, the link is literally in the description, bro. We have the cheapest and best clothes, bro. Just go check them out, bro. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all boys that been to the video. Alright, so let's just get straight into the tier list, bro. I'm gonna keep it brief. I'm gonna do some explanations. But, um, yeah, let's just get straight into it. Alright, so we're gonna start off with Alturia. Okay, so in my opinion, Alturia, Alturia is like... Okay, so he does really, like, good move or ability damage sometimes. Or, like, just decent damage, I guess. But he's not, like... He wouldn't be used for, like everything if we're being honest he'd probably only be used for damage like not even bosses like i mean i guess you can use alteria and raids if you want to get da more damage like really fast but ultimately bro alteria is like i don't know it's not he's not really good in a lot of areas i mean he's okay he's not a bad character or anything but he's like only good for like one thing to be honest and that's literally getting damage in raids bro because like if we're doing dungeons or trials he wouldn't be good because he doesn't have the aoe he wouldn't have a lot of aoe he doesn't have a lot of movement speed at all no movement capability and the, i mean it's just damage and like the moves that he uses is like kind of single target if you think about it it's like really more single target than anything so i'll just put him on the b tier list for now he's not really like good or anything bakugo okay so bakugo has like the, like some really great movement capability like some good aoe like pretty decent aoe and the damage is there but the thing is it's not really for okay so if we're talking bosses i mean it's good for bosses in the damage area but you'd have to like time the moves and know when to use the moves whenever the bosses use theirs so he's not bad or anything he's really good his damage is nice his aoe is nice his movement capability is nice so he has like the three things that you honestly need but it's just i don't know he's not like the best or anything he's not great or anything just the simple fact that you actually have to like take the time out and use the character like multiple times to actually use the moves and like and if you're doing missions i mean he'd get he'd get through them pretty fast like he's a good solo character but he's not the best solo character is what i'm trying to say so we're just gonna put him in the a tier list bakugo is in the a tier list he's really freaking good though he's really good okay cyborg big boy damage big 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 boy damage okay so he's more of like a, a close range type like he's like really close range big boy damage type so he's really gonna be used for He's gonna be used a lot for like clearing out enemies that like just speed like clearing out enemies close range and boss fights but and we're talking about like like killing enemies at like the fastest possible then he probably wouldn't be that area but damage wise he's really good cyborg is really good he's not the best or anything but he's really freaking good cyborg is really good i'm gonna put cyborg at like the the, the a tier i would put him at the s but the s is like for special like you got to be good at every single aspect literally to get on this s tier list that's how the s tier list is gonna be all right now with Igu, bro okay so this dude um i don't know like i mean the damage is i mean the damage is all right the the moves there he has like backup moves to like get enemies like it is like distant creation moves like and he has a like really good aoe moves but the cooldowns i don't know the cooldowns are not like really something i would prefer and he's not like the best character or anything there's a lot of other characters that can do his job way better than he does his job but he's like pretty decent for damage i guess he's he's, he's good for damage i guess so we're gonna put him on like b I would put him on D. Yeah. I don't know. Should he go? I'm, I'm just going to put him on B. No, nah, I'm going to put Alteria on D because he's not really like one of the best. One of the best 600 stars. 1600s. But um, yeah. Gojo. Uh, Gojo's really good, bro. Really good. Okay, so Gojo has really low cooldowns. He can get enemies 
in like one area in seconds but his damage his damage is actually pretty good but it's not like overpower anything he's like really good for like okay so he's really good for getting everything in one spot as fast as possible so if you have a gojo on your team you guys are going to be getting through dungeons like really really fast so i'm going to be putting him on the a tier list he's like he's like a good character a really good character to have on your team really good character uh mega retsu um kind of outdated but i mean the damage is there uh the, the aoe is all right it's like not even mid-range uh i mean it's mid it's more of a mid-range long range but like the aoe is not like big it's like a i don't want to say one target but it's like a, a a a small type aoe it's like a straight aoe like it's nothing like huge that'll kill everything like around you but like you honestly have to like put a lot of stuff together but the aoe the damage is is decent the aoe is decent so i'm gonna put Megara to on like B tier. Now, so the priestess. I want to put the priestess at S tier. Yeah, I'm gonna put the priestess at S tier because priestess is like one the best support character. Ever, the hands down best support character just best support character ever like yes she has two damage moves that are like will hold you down if you're just only playing support on the team so you won't like have to like if you're in the solo if you're in, like have to solo sometimes then priestess is gonna be good especially if you're like with a full team and like some people aren't taking certain areas of like the map you're on and you have to like solo one part or if you're ahead of the team and you have to solo one part it's pretty good they can hold down you can heal yourself multiple people the healing is there and the cooldowns for the amount of healing they do is like really low it's, it's just good priestess is crazy all right now for rimuru uh rimuru is like really good for like damage i guess not even damage though rimuru is like i mean it was like the best character at once but like there's a lot more characters now but rimuru is like I don't know, Rimuru is really, like, good if you're, like, Rimuru is good if you're, like, on the lower stages, but, like, the current high stages right now, Rimuru wouldn't be, like, the best. It's good as a support character, no doubt, because of the fourth skill. It's really good as a support character. But, I mean, if you're only using Rimuru, then, I mean, there's not much, I don't know, there's not much you can, like, really do. I mean, you can, there's, the AoE is not good until you use the fourth skill, but now there is that third skill too, the AoE is pretty mid-range, I don't know, the, that, this character is kind of like just simply like mid-range, it's like a very mid-range character that you really be using for, so this is being like the mid-range, like decent damage type area, so I'm gonna put Rimuru with B, alright for Ryuka, automatically S here, it's like, they made her cost that much Robux just because she's that OP bro, she's literally OP, like that much Robux and she's OP, She's, she's crazy. The AOE is there. The, the boss solo capability is there. The freaking, the freaking damage is there. Everything is there. You can literally do, you can solo everything by yourself. You can carry, you can do raids. Ryuka is just the best. You can literally do everything with Ryuka. Ryuka is literally the best character. Now we're going to go to Shield Man. Shield Man, uh, I'm going to put Shield Man at D. Uh, simply because like, I mean, it's kind of like... The damage is not there. The damage is not there. The, um, I mean, there's just other characters. Again, there's other characters that can do what he does just better in general. So he's, like, not really, like, gonna be like used as much even if you have them all right Todoroki Todoroki I might uh, you know what yeah I might put Tod I'm gonna put Todoroki on B I might put Todoroki on B because Todoroki he's like really like good for like a multi damage because his moves like stack damage after you hit him out I don't know that he's like a really he's like mid mid he's like a really mid-range of uh, a uh, far range type character he's like really good for like damage and things of that nature but there are other characters that can do what he does better in my opinion but he's actually a really decent character but he's not as bad as like these two he's really good like his his aoe's there damage there he's really good character and all for zenitsu zenitsu ah, zenitsu damage is crazy he's like really good for mobility uh i don't know we might have to put him here nah his damage is good though for the like lower characters his damage is really good but he wasn't he wouldn't be the best in my opinion because his aoe is very small he has like a mid-range and close range he's not even mid-range i'd say he's like really close range and he he wouldn't be used for like you'd have to like gather up enemies 
and then use his abilities for like it to be effective and then i don't know he's just not that there's just other characters like the characters above him just do what he does better bro but that that movement ability mode if you want to get around faster is very good but also there's other characters on this tier list that does what he do better and go i'm um, run goku will will be goku will probably be uh when goku would definitely be on the uh the a tier he'd be on the a tier just because his cooldowns are like really low and goku's cooldowns are really low and on top of that his um his uh moves do like pretty good damage and he's very spammable and s tier would be s tier would automatically be uh naruto six path stage mode because his aoe is crazy his damage is insane he's just a really good character for clearing and uh boss fights as well like he kills he he does boss fights as well like really good because he doesn't have to like be as close as everyone else and you can use his moves like his cooldown's not that long but he's actually pretty op but um yeah this is like this is the advanced tier list bro like this is pretty much it in my opinion these are this is like pretty accurate in my opinion i'm not saying this is facts but in my opinion this would be accurate but yeah rengoku would be on a tier list and s tier list would be naruto six five sage i didn't get the pictures of them I, I think i forgot but it doesn't really matter naruto six five sage is going to be s tier and rengoku would be a tier i don't have the pictures of them right now but this would there be naruto right here rengoku right here but um yeah that's that's pretty much it for the tier list But um yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the tier list. That was like my honest opinions and explanations on like the 1600 characters. And again, again, let me show you guys. Again, uh, wait, six pass, six sage Naruto. Let me go to the raid shop real quick. Hold up. Again, six pass sage Naruto right here would be S tier, and then Rengoku would be A tier, bro. Rengoku would be A tier. But um yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this tier list, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's totally free. Make sure y'all join the group. The link is literally in the description, man. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, bro. That's probably the closest thing y'all gonna get to uh, accurate tier list. Not gonna lie. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, it's your boy Ouchie, and I'm out. Yes, sir.